Hi, I'm Claire Cooley and this is The Creativity Show. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to stencil on hats. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when we put out the next video. And please, tell a friend. Um, I'm going to start with this one. Uh, I want to show you, I put a globe in there with a clip so it's a nice solid surface to put the stencil on and there's just a roll of tape to keep it from rolling away. Here we go with a bumblebee. I'm using these golden uh, acrylic paints, the metallics, and they're, they are washable. They last for a really long time. They're very durable and it is curved, so I'm gonna have to keep moving my fingers around to press the stencil down where I'm putting the paint through the stencil cuts. Using the brush to get that paint in there. And there's so many things I love about stencils, besides that you can do walls and duvet covers and clothes and hats, um, tabletop stuff. Look at how fast that is. All right, let's get some silver. I like to keep experimenting, that's the fun. Keep learning, keep trying new things. That's part of the fun of creating. Voila. There you go. For more fun creativity, follow me on social media. All right, we're gonna go for this one. So we're gonna take this clip and make it as tight as we can. This is a little trickier, especially trying to face it toward the camera so you can see. I'm kind of smearing it into the shapes as I use the brush to press the stencil down on this curved shape. Voila, so each surface has its own specific principles. We're gonna do, now this one you see I'm kind of scrubbing toward the center instead of lifting up the stencil shape. Mm, that's nice. Isn't that pretty? Creates a serenity, a serene order in the randomness. The human brain has a desire to organize and make everything even. And so as an artist, you want to resist that urge to make everything even very close to where it was, as close as possible. We're not trying to cover the whole thing. I'm just going for, for tips of gold. Mm. Wouldn't we all like tips of gold? Look at that. When we're doing things by hand, in my opinion, we don't want to look like a machine did it. We want the variety, the contrast of, they're all slightly different. Now the most challenging one I saved for last. So now we're gonna do the warbler on the front. We're gonna go toward the center so we don't pick up part of the stencil and smear paint underneath it. There are places you wanna go down the lines, like these long, narrow 
wing lines and there are places that you want to kind of scrub in in these circular motions the paint into those delicate lines. And there are times you want to go straight down, depending on the cuts. There she is. What I love about stenciling is using my own imagination to customize my clothes. Fast, frugal, fun. These are the warblers, which also is what I love to express my love of nature and my appreciation for all that it provides for us. If you got something out of this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Creativity helped me get through all my life challenges. People have told me my stories have helped them get through their challenges and suggested I write my stories. So I wrote my memoir, Incandescence, Rising Above Darkness, that you can get in ebook, print, color, black and white. The link is in the description. If you like this video, check out our previous video, How to Stencil on Fabrics and Clothes. Knock, knock. Who's there? You're a... You're a poo. I'm not a poo. <laughs> You're a poo. <laughs> How dare you? That was really just terrible. Knock, knock. Who's there? I don't know. <laughs>